This is Balance of Power on Bloomberg Television and on radio. I'm David Weston. Well, Congress had quite a busy week last week, but before they got out of town, they passed a 2 or $2.2 .2 trillion spending package to try to help the U.S. economy through this crisis right now. We have on the phone with us now one of those involved in this. He is Senator Ted Cruz, Republican of Texas, and we welcome you, Senator. Thank you for being here. First of all, give us a sense. Do you think you've done enough for now, or is there more to come? Well, David, it's good to be with you. Thank you for having me. Um, and I, I think what we've done now is is emergency relief for now. Uh, what the, the ultimate question is, is when we are able to get under control and defeat this global pandemic. That's what's driving all of the rest of this. We have two crises that are playing out simultaneously. We have a public health crisis with, with a gl gl growing pandemic, and we have to get that under control. We've got, secondly, uh, an economic crisis that, that is the direct results of the aggressive steps we're taking to contain, contain the global pandemic. And, and the legislation that, that Congress passed last week uh, was emergency relief legislation designed to provide real relief to, to the millions of people across this country right now who are hurting, who've lost their jobs, to the small businesses that are in crisis and and. and uh, if the crisis continues for substantially longer, I have no doubt that Congress will have to act yet again. There are so many people and so many businesses that are hurting because we've, on purpose, for good and sufficient reason, really almost stopped the economy throughout a lot of the United States. We also are hearing about the states, the individual states, who are getting crushed both with dramatically increased costs in fighting this coronavirus, but also dramatically reduced revenues because of taxes. Is there enough in this bill to take care of the states? Well, there's very substantial amounts in this bill for the states. And in the bill of the $2 trillion, $150 billion of that goes directly to the states, and it goes to the cities as well. And so it's the states and municipalities are getting $150 billion for their coronavirus efforts, for what they're having to expand additionally combating the coronavirus. Um, in addition to that, there's $100 billion that goes directly to hospitals and other medical facilities. So that's $250 billion uh, right on the front end. But, but there's also a great bit, bit of immediate relief for individuals and, and for small businesses. Uh, if you look at individuals, every American who earns $100,000 or less, uh, it's going to get a check. And it's going to get a check. Uh, if you earn 75000 or less, the check will be $1,200 per adult. That means if, if you're a couple, uh, you're going to get 2400 if the two of you make 150000 or less. And $500 for each child. That means a couple with three kids uh, will get a check for $3,900. Uh, that's real money. And, and, and that's designed to provide relief for families that right now may be laid off, may not be sure where the rent is coming from next week. Um, and, and, and that's designed to, to, to help them through uh, this, this economic devastation we're seeing as, as a result of the health crisis. Senator Cruz, how confident are you that we can get the money to the individuals and the companies, particularly small businesses, fast enough? Because part of the problem, we saw the jobless claims just shoot up last week. And part of it's because you have small businesses, such as restaurants, for example, uh, who just have to lay people off right away. Can we get money to them fast enough so that people won't be losing their jobs? Well, I, I certainly hope so. And, and let's take it in, in two tranches. Uh, number one, the individual relief. That's going out through the IRS. Uh, and, and, and Treasury has projected that they expect that to take two to three weeks. Uh, if you are a taxpayer who direct deposits your taxes, in other words, if they have your bank account number and you usually get a refund direct deposited into your bank account, Treasury believes they'll do it faster in that circumstance. The, the general counsel of the IRS told me he thought those could get out as early as April 8th. It just depends upon how quickly they can execute. Um, on the other hand, if, if, if you need to receive a check, printing the checks, mailing the checks through snail mail, that will take longer. But it's still Treasury is intending to get it out in the next two to three weeks. And, and what Congress specified is to get the checks out there as soon as humanly possible. On the small business side, th th there is direct and immediate relief. And this, this may be the most important part uh, of the legislation we passed. Uh, it is 
$377 billion uh, in emergency loans to small businesses. Now, a small business is defined as, as, as a business with 500 or fewer employees. And, and if you're right now, if you're listening or watching this today and, and you're a small business owner, um, you can go and get an emergency loan. Maybe you've laid off a substantial number of your employees. Uh, you can go, the, the loans are administered through the Small Business Administration, but the, it's implemented directly through the banks and the local community banks. So, so small business owners can go to the banker you normally deal with for, for, for business banking needs. And if they're a small business uh, accredited lo- uh, lender, they can, they can administer the loan. The loan can be up to $10 million, so it's designed to be for businesses like restaurants, like bars, like hardware stores, like nail salons, all of these restaurants that, as you noted, have been laying people off in massive numbers. And you can get a loan quickly that is guaranteed. And here's the part that is unusual. If you use that loan to pay salary, to pay mortgage or rent on your business, or to pay utilities, that loan will be forgiven. In other words, it becomes a grant. And, and so the intention of this is for small businesses to keep their employees on the payroll so, the, so that the employees keep getting a paycheck and so that the restaurant, so that the bar, so that the gym, so that the movie theater doesn't have to, to, to shutter their business and, and be driven into bankruptcy. This is designed to really be a bridge loan to get through the crisis, but, but the amount that goes to salary and mortgage and rents is forgiven and is a grant to keep those small businesses afloat and, and prepared to thrive again once once we combat and defeat this pandemic. Uh, Senator, finally and quickly, uh, we're all experiencing social distancing. When will we see Congress convene again? Uh, that is unclear. Right now, we are scheduled to return on April 21st. So, the, so the plan is is to give it give it some time, give it three full weeks, and and then come back then. But depending on the the, the state of of the health crisis, if, if it is still a serious public health threat, it would not surprise me to see that date pushed back. You know, if you look at the U.S. Senate, you've got a hundred people, quite a few of whom. Uh, are in their 70s, are in their 80s, are potentially in a vulnerable population. And so we met in person the last two weeks and passed this legislation. But I think there's some understanding that that all of us, I'm at my home, I'm working from home. Most of us have gone home to the states. And I'm on the phone with with Texans all across the state and the phone across the country working from home right now. Senator, thank you so much, and we wish that you, health and safety for both you and your family. Thank you very much. It's Ted Cruz, Senator from the state of Texas.